my favorite subject. It is a subject that never goes away. It's a gift that keeps giving. PGA Tour, LIV, and the negotiations continue. Now, of course, they announced that they're going to extend the negotiations and the time period to the Masters. Now, you would think they want to get that done before the Masters, and I bet the Masters wants to get that done before the Masters because they don't want all those questions. You know, they want to talk about Gene Sarazen's uh, hole out on 15 or Tigers chip in on 16, Larry Mize chipping it in on number 11 to beat Greg Norman. They want to talk about Jack Nicholas raising the putter up and winning at 45 or 46 or whatever he was when he won his, his last Masters. That's what they want to talk about. They don't want to talk about LIV. Like it's so hard to keep track of what's going on. You get so little information. Whatever the corrupt golf media writes, I believe nothing of it. But but here's what I think is going to happen. They're going to all get a deal together. I think that's going to, it's going to be just like McElroy saying, because you know when McElroy talks, you know that he's coming with information he's getting from Jimmy Dunn, Public Investment Fund. He brought them into the deal. He's getting it from Tiger. He's getting it from Monahan. McElroy knows the tour has come to a realization they need to be global. So they're going to have to figure out how many big tournaments they can have and where they can get the money from. And in order for that to happen, they have to go globally. And that's where they're going. Rory McElroy said it. You can pretty much take that to the bank. Well, if Rory says it, it's probably true.